Year eight, um, just up the road here in Hampstead, so it's very close. So I rode down, that's why I'm in this attire. Um, Winston Churchill once said, uh, Democracy is the worst form of government. Anyone finish that quote? Yes, something like that, apart from all the others. Yes, that's right, Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Democracy is the worst form of government apart from all the others. Well, I've kind of caught that philosophy about mood as well. Um, it's it's uh, not the best out there. Uh, there's a lot of problems with it. There's a lot of bugs. A lot of things that drive me crazy, but um, it's better than all the others. Okay? And uh, so on a scale of you know, 1 to 10, um, I'm not a 10 as far as being a mood or fanboy goes but I'm a fan. I'm a fan of open source. I'm a fan of um, accessing a community of uh, intelligent people who can build things together, sharing resources out there. So that's fantastic. So I don't need to convince you, I don't think, about using Moodle. Um, just, if, by the way, could you just put your hand up if you're sort of still on the fence about using Moodle, not really still... See, I'm still I think, talking to the converted here. Um, so there's, you know, so if you just... Um, Perhaps to, for the person next to you, could sort of tell them uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 or you know, 0 to 100 how you feel about Moodle. So just say that to the next person next to you. Okay. I, I think generally it's, generally it's pretty positive about Moodle. Anyone down twos, threes? No? Or all in the above five, seven, eight? Any tens? No. I mean, we're all in the same place, I think. We're all sort of, we're, we're all sort of, um, we like Moodle, but it's got its idiosyncrasies, things we don't like. I'd like more flash, but I'd like more visual. You know, they tend to look all look the same. Everyone uses the same you know, um, <coughs> templates and those kind of things. And so it's very similar. So what we wanted to do, we wanted, at our school, we wanted to um, look beyond, look into the future. Well, what, what, what is the future for using ICT, using online learning and those kind of things? Well, the future, what I believe is the future is we're moving towards a touch sort of world. We're moving towards an, a cloud-based world. Okay? So we want, to, we want to sort of integrate touch, we want to integrate cloud. And, 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 and Moodle itself um, doesn't allow for a lot of cloud-based activities. When I say cloud-based activities, I mean activities like uh, synchronized learning, synchronized activities, where students are working on an activity at the same time, on the same page, on the same spreadsheet. Moodle doesn't do that. It does a lot of things fantastic, but it doesn't, it doesn't fill that gap there uh, for the future, I believe. Maybe they will develop it, and that'll be great. Um, but I think, I think if you're looking, if you're, if you're a futurist, you're looking forward to the future, you're going to be looking into, you're looking to the cloud, you're looking to Google Apps. Maybe you don't agree with me, but that's, that's my philosophy in this anyway. And also, we're going down to touch interface. So, um, so when we developed our Moodle, we wanted to sort of get a sort of touch screen, mood, um, iPad-esque sort of, uh, sort of look about it. So when they use it on their iPads at home, um, they just touch the screen. That's where, that's where we want to go anyway. It's not just a work in progress, but that's how we're sort of going. But also, we chose to use Google Apps with our, um, with our Moodle. And I believe, I really strongly believe, Google Apps is the secret source to Moodle. Okay, Moodle is itself is a good product, but add Google Apps in, this, in the one domain and it becomes a very, very powerful, magical product. And, and it just pushes it up a whole new level. So, is anyone sort of considering um, using going to Google Apps, um, thinking about it? Good. Has anyone got up Google Apps and Moodle integrated already? So there's, there's only about three out there. Okay, that's, that's great. So the, way, the path we went down, we went down to the uh, Google Apps and Moodle integration, and we had single sign-on. So when the, when the students come into school, they sit down at the computer or sit down on their laptops, and they log on to the network, and 
uh, bring up an Internet Explorer, they're, they're in Moodle. So that it's the same sign-on, same from the network sign-on to Moodle sign-on and to Google Apps, all single sign-on all the way through. One password, uh, one username. I find that that is the key ingredient to a successful VLE, is one password, one username, all the way through. Once you start having multiple passwords uh, and multiple usernames, that's where things start falling down, I've found in most schools. Uh, so we find, for us, our Moodle apps, our Moodle Google Apps integration with a single password, single sign-on has worked really well. Boys get into it, they get online, they get start doing things. Um, so why, why, why use Google Apps? What's the advantage of Google Apps? Well, a teacher uh, came to me, a science teacher the other day, a year eight science teacher, said um, he, wanted, he wanted the boys to do a peer assessment activity in class uh, when, uh, on their laptops while the boys were doing a presentation um, up on, at the front of the, at the, st on the desk screen, um, in front of the uh, classroom in Prezi or in um, PowerPoint or Keynote or something like that. So the boys are coming out here, and the rest of the boys in the class are going to do assessment with their laptops of that boy using a Google form. Um, so all the boys had the laptops open. We're at a boys' school. All the boys had the laptops open, and there was criteria that the teacher had developed for that assessment. So, so it was just basically a form, and there was a drop-down list of names uh, that they could choose for the boy to be assessed. And I can show you here. If you, not sure what I'm talking about. So there's, that's just our front page of our Moodle. I'm logged on there. Over here's our um, Google Apps integration. So it sort of looks like that when you've got it integrated. We've got a link to our ePortfolio over here, which is just a link to Google Sites. Through. No need to sign on with another password. It's already, already in there. Um, Okay, that's what Google Domain looks like once you're in there. You can do all the management of the Google Domain, a uh, lot, of, lot of powerful tools. You also, get the, you also get the Marketplace, which is a lot of add-ons, all single sign, single sign-on, so there's no need to add additional passwords as well. So you can use a lot of Web 2.0 act, Web 2 activities all through the Marketplace, all with the same username and password. It's golden. Okay, so this is the... Um, this is the uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. Doesn't make this is the this is the spreadsheet in Google Docs. So I'll show you the form. Um, go to live form. So uh, we can send this link to the boys on their laptops. Um, uh, here's the question. Uh, rating out of bullet points out of one to five, one to five. Um, excellent. So the drop down name here of the boy, and uh, they just pick the drop down name and they just give an assessment. So that activity there, a simple activity in Google Forms, has all the boys, all the students in the class actively assessing another person in the class, another student in the class, on their laptops, um, and the teacher is getting all the assessment into a spreadsheet in one synchronized activity on the one spreadsheet. As the boys assess each other, the, the, the data is fed into the spreadsheet straight away. Um, and then the, sheet, and the teacher can just look at the spreadsheet at the end of the lesson, have all the results there tabulated. So do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's, it's a very, very powerful tool, but simple, but powerful. And a little bit different to what we're doing with a lot of other things in Moodle, because we're using this Google Apps and the synchronization and the forms we're allowing everyone to work on the same spreadsheet at the same time. So this is what, um, this is what happens. The spreadsheet just gets filled in. Um, so this is the the one boy, and this is all the boys that assessed him. And this is the marks they gave him, um, and this, this is, they're all added up at the end into, uh, into a to total. So if you go to view, show a summary of responses. Okay, so now you've got, that, you've got the information there that you can use for your assessment. Okay, it's all just, what has the teacher done? The teacher ju has just said, go to it, boys or students. Fantastic, powerful, you know? And they're all engaged, they're all, they're all, they're all working together. 
Any questions so far? Yeah. Yes, but you'll see that in the in because the, you can look at all the spreadsheet and see if there's one one mark that's everything's given zero zero zero. Yeah. You'll see that and you can follow that up. Yes. Uh, well, uh, that's a common question about um, any concerns about data privacy. That's a common question about uh, uh, storing things in the cloud. Um, so the, what you're saying is, so you're saying is, do you trust Google? To Yeah, I think I think Google's required to keep the data in the EU. I think that's that, that's the important thing. Um, so data that's coming from the, from the UK is better to be kept in the EU. That's my understanding of it. So I'm not concerned about data privacy if it's kept inside the EU. Okay. Yes. That in Google Apps, there's a, there's a, there's a thing called Docs and there's a thing called um, Google Forms. Google Forms. Forms. Okay. So you just you just I just create the form and that just it's got questions. You can add the questions and various styles of answers you can add to. So it's, it was was very easy to set up. Um, Exactly. For free? Yes, definitely. Well, you're all futurists in this room here. So you're, you're leading on the leading edge. You know. Yes. Yes. Uh, they're, they're not in Google, in Google Apps. Because once they sign into the Moodle, they're in Google Apps. So not signing on again. It's integrate. That's the integration. I uh, We we'll use Active Directory, um, so LDAP integration. I might have to sort of speak to you uh, uh, on the technical issues. Okay, so so that's just an advantage. One of the one I haven't got much time, so that's one advantage of using uh, Google Apps in the classroom. Okay, another advantage of using Google Apps in the classroom is um, our e-portfolio system. So we decided to sort of we decided to set up an e-portfolio where we just boys could showcase their work they've been doing in class. Now there's um, Mahara out there, which is uh, another powerful tool, but we thought. That's an extra layer we'd have to add into, and that has a lot of social networking features. But we weren't really looking for at our school. We were just looking for something we'd use as a repository and a place for to showcase students' work and share with their parents. Anyone use Mahara here? At, yeah, a couple, few, quite a few Mahara users. So um, it was a bit. Um, we just found Mahara um, was an additional uh, layer that we didn't actually need. All the, all we with Google Sites, it provided everything we needed. And it wasn't an additional, it wasn't something else we had to add on. So, so if we go down to uh, ePortfolio, I click on that, and it takes us to um, browse all sites from the hall. So that's our domain, and it's all the, so you just type in a student's name, and you can browse all the boys' names and all their, all their ePortfolios. So it's a very simple, just browse and bring up a name. Okay, if I type a name in there, I can just bring up a portfolio. Um, but also, you'll see here, it says ePortfolio <coughs> template. Well, what I did at the start of the year, I created a template, which is, uh, which is the basis for the all students to use as an e-portfolio. Um, this could be same for, uh, same for an IAP, I imagine, the same sort of thing. Um, so, so one template, and they just click on that, and then they, when they save it, it saves the template as their name as their e-portfolio, so they don't need to create the basic, the basic template there. It's already there with all the years there. Um, so. So they, it's given them a guidelines. It's a scaffolding they've created there for them to build their e-portfolio on. Okay, so so I'll bring up one boy's uh, e-portfolio here. This is just a <coughs> year six boys. 
Five minutes. Okay, so we've just, I'll, I've got five minutes. So um, the template was uh, they've got the years five, six, they have seven, eight, nine, ten, those kind of things. Um, and they've got their subject areas in here uh, geography, curriculum, Latin, life skills, those kind of things. ICT, uh, that was a French activity. You can embed activities in there. So we're doing a, a French uh, activity. We embedded that there in the page. Well, that was not embed. That's a link. But um, but you can embed easily into the page as well. So so it looks aesthetically very pleasing. And they can share this with their parents when they get home. Uh, Mom, Dad, look what I'm doing in class. This is what we're doing. Um, I'll just bring up a video here. He's been. This is just something I did, he did last year, I think. You can embed these so it doesn't need to be outside linked to the. So, so we kind of find the e for e portfolios for us is a very very powerful tool to sort of to, to share with other boys because teachers can put comments on there, other boys can put comments on there. It depends. They get the idea. That's just a little French activity that they created um, in, in Go Animate and put many boys embedded that. Many boys put a link on their ePortfolio. So it's it's kind of it's, it's a lot of fun, but it's also powerful in, in this learning learning. It's a powerful learning tool as well. Okay. Um, so th 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 there's just a couple of examples. So so ePortfolios is one where we set up a template and shared that template with all the students in the school, and they could create their own ePortfolio very simply, very easily, very quickly, and it's all shareable. Teachers can make comments, parents can view it once they've got their son's password and username. Um, other boys, other students can make comments on there, and they can um, give feedback. We have sort of rules and regulations about the types of comments you've got to give. Um, so, and another example is the Google Apps synchronous um, editing of Google Docs. We did this a peer assessment activity where they could look, look on the spreadsheet. They could just answer the questions on the spreadsheet or directly into the Google Forms and it goes straight into the spreadsheet. So there's a couple of powerful examples how, how this is the sort of future where, where, where um, education is going, I think anyway. And uh, perhaps any of you might agree, I don't know. Okay. Okay, thank you.